A Kentucky family once again today made the drive to Austintown to hear if a truck driver responsible for killing a relative would be given any prison time. With the judge's sentencing, here's First News anchor Stan Boney. The family of 25-year-old Zachary Leffler of Kentucky this afternoon took their seats in Austintown Court. His mother, Shannon Ponder, wiping away her tears. Minutes later, New Jersey truck driver David Pluidzi stood before Judge Scott Hunter and apologized for driving the truck that killed Leffler. The crash happening on Interstate 80 in Austintown last December. But there are no words to explain. Speaking in broken English, Pluidzi said he's never been in an accident, had never used drugs or alcohol while driving, and on the day of the crash had a medical condition causing him to lose consciousness and lose control of his truck. The defendant has shown and continues to demonstrate genuine remorse for the tragic events. Pluidzi previously pleaded no contest to misdemeanor vehicular homicide. Judge Hunter sentenced him to 30 days of house arrest, a $750 fine, 50 hours of community service, and two years probation. Pluidzi will spend no time in jail. I don't understand how you hit somebody and cause a fatality and you're talking about 30 days of house arrest. It's just mind-blowing to me. I don't, I don't wish any ill will on the guy. I truly wish I knew if he was on drugs or not. Zachary Leffler's parents wish that Pluidzi had been given a full-blown toxicology test after the accident instead of the blood test administered by the hospital, which came back clean. They're now working to get the law changed in Ohio. When there's an accident like this, that you don't leave it up to the discretion of the police officers on scene, that you make it a requirement. Now, if we had had the toxicology report, maybe that would have given us an answer, but we'll never know. That's the problem. Zachary Leffler's parents will hold a news conference Wednesday in Cincinnati to unveil their effort to make full toxicology testing mandatory in cases like these. In Austintown, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.